I'm Danica Patrick, and I'm pretty intense. There's a whole book, so yeah. are there, what so else Whole30 is, in it? is like so easy for people to follow because it's so black or white. I'm like, here's yeah. what you do for 30 days. Food freedom is like, okay, now here's how you take what you've learned on the Whole30 and turn it into a diet that works for you, your mm -hmm. own kind of perfect plan. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot harder. People still kind of want to be told what to do. Like, well, okay, but in my food freedom, is it okay if I do this? Is it okay if I have that? If I'm gonna eat sugar in my food freedom, mm -hmm. what kind should I eat? And the answer is like, whichever one you want, whatever you decide is worth it. So the book really provides like a framework for helping you figure out what's worth it and what you really want and how to create this diet for you in a way that doesn't, that isn't me telling you what to eat because that's not food freedom. Mm -hmm. So I try to provide as much guide work as I can. We talk about in the moment success strategies. Um, a lot of times we have to distance ourselves from the immediate temptation of that food. You know, you get served wow. a <laughs> cookie or a glass of wine. Oh, there yeah. are a number of strategies you can do. You can take a deep breath. Yeah. Like, honestly, we can get into this fight or flight panic reflex when we see a tempting food, especially if we've had this like lifetime of unhealthy habits in association with this food. So just sitting and taking a deep breath can help. Mm -hmm. Putting the food in a timeout, saying to yourself like, okay, mm -hmm. if I still want it in five minutes, then I'll eat it, but I'm not gonna make an like irrational in the moment decision where sort of my brain is overriding what I really want. Um, so that's a success strategy. Imagining what the outcome is gonna feel like an hour after you eat it, because eating something that provides instant gratification but makes you feel like crap for the next 24 hours right. is not really a treat. Yeah. And that's then, how, that's for me the biggest thing. Yeah. Like, when I eat something that makes me, I mean like, sure it can taste good. Sugar always tastes good. Sugar, yeah. sugar, 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 that's yeah. what I say. <laughs> yeah. But when I feel like bloated, like I have a food baby, I'm yeah. like, I just want to go to sleep and yeah. wake up and have it be gone because I feel, this yeah. feels so uncomfortable. It's not worth it's it. It's not me. Exactly. Um, but yeah, there's that, there's that downside. Yeah. And then there's the some long-term kind of things that you can do. You know, when you think about things like what, what's most likely to throw you off your healthy eating game, holidays, vacations, stressful events and so I provide strategies for kind of how to navigate yeah. those in a way that like allows you to make the most of your vacation like it's not that fun to be on vacation and feel like crap because you've eaten and drank a bunch of stuff yeah. that you know yeah. isn't serving you so yeah. well how can people learn how to take care of themselves best like what are what are what are some of the best ways to be able to go on vacation and not fall apart yeah I mean I go on vacation Look, I, I was on vacation for the 45 of 90 days at the beginning of the year. Like, I mean, yeah, and I stay on the program. So yeah. like what, how do people do it though? I like, I really like giving people small wins. So it's like, if you are thinking about taking a mini trip or even just take, even just practice it like on a weekend where you have a special event where you're very conscientiously and deliberately, deliberately asking yourself like, is this a special food? Is it gonna mess me up? If it is, how is it gonna mess me up? Is the degree that it's gonna mess me up gonna make it worth it in the long run? Like if you're on vacation on a beach and you wanna just like feel your best and have good energy and be able to like take, you know, maybe take advantage of the situation you're in, you're not gonna to wanna to eat something that has you out like a light by 11 a.m. or has you feeling super bloated or like not comfortable in your yeah. skin. So thinking about that ahead of time and really like conscientiously having those moments where you're like, okay, I know I'm in Mexico. I know it's a margarita, but it's 11 in the morning and I'm not a good day drinker and yeah. this isn't going to serve me and saying no and passing on there's it. There's always and, like, there's a very, there's a, the, look, like when I go on vacation, I'm like, okay, I know how to stay away from all of the, the dairy and the gluten and the grains and the beans. Like that's, yeah. to me, that's easy, right? Some people don't, some people literally don't know that garbanzo is a bean. Yeah. Like it's not even in their realm of consciousness right. or awareness. Right. And they go and they have, you know, um, you know, a fro like a, a, a mixed drink. There's, do you know how many people think that tonic is water? Yeah. I know. Right? But I Just know, like, I know. sharpen up. If yeah. you give a shit about yourself, you have to understand food. And for me, if you can't, if you, the way that you're going to learn how to operate in the real world or out in, at a restaurant or on vacation, uh, is you have to know how to cook. Yeah, yeah. I if mean, you don't know how to cook, you don't know how it's made. Yeah, food freedom always starts with a reset, whether it's a Whole30 reset or a vegan reset. If you're a vegan, like there, there has to be that reset because until you get to a place where you feel like your cravings are under control, your blood sugar is better regulated, your hormones are better balanced, your digestion isn't acting up as much, your immune system is calm. Like until you get to that place where you get that good baseline, where you feel so good, you're not gonna have anything to measure it from. Right. See, it's really hard to dump someone into a vacation eating whatever they've been eating and be like, okay, now try to moderate. That's yeah. why this advice like 
just everything in moderation. Right. Is such BS. Well, they're probably not going on vacation wondering how they're going to stay on a program when right. they haven't been on a program. They're not right. starting it. Right. So the point is, is like, how can they go to a restaurant and look at a menu and go, I got this. Yeah. Because for me, I'm going, okay, I'm going to have a fish. I'm going to have vegetables. I'm going to ask, you know, I'm going to say, you know, can they, if, I'm going to know when yeah. it says sauteed versus roasted yeah. versus fried. Yeah. I'm no, I know when a fish says sauteed versus grilled, I know what that means. Like I know that they pretty much put some kind of oil or fat on every protein as before they hand it out to you. Right, right. Whether it's oil or butter or something like that, they're gonna, or sauces. Yeah. Always asking for that on the side. Yeah. But you have to actually cook at home to know that stuff. You can't, you can't go out to breakfast and be like, Oh, I, I, you know, I, I didn't know that bacon had this in it, or oh, I didn't know. There's dairy in the eggs. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know there was. Yeah, I didn't know they mixed it with milk when they make the scrambled eggs. Right. Or, but this is why you do a whole thirty. You do a whole thirty because the program structure forces you to ask those kinds of questions. What's to make the, it yourself. What's in the eggs this morning? Oh, is there yeah. dairy in the eggs? Can I get shelled eggs instead? Yeah. And you're cooking at home. The program. So many people have said the whole thirty taught me how to cook. And that's a huge Perfect. benefit of the program. So yes, it starts with the Whole30. And then once you reach that baseline, now you have a new foundation to go on vacation and say, yeah. okay, like, can I finish this vacation feeling as good as I did yeah. when I started? Mm -hmm.